but there's something very special about doing a pilgrimage. I'm really excited to do this particular pilgrimage because this is going to take us through Poland, into Prague, through Austria and Salzburg, and down to Budapest in Hungary. Went downstairs and I actually ran into our guide, Carolina. Um, I managed to call like both. Looking forward to working with her. Ran into a few of our new pilgrims who had just arrived as well. Well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon local time. Around here, especially in Poland, one of the very popular devotions, of course, is the Divine Mercy. I think it's a good thing that I take a few moments now to offer a Divine Mercy chaplet, especially for all the pilgrims who will be joining me today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So before I take a walk downstairs to see everybody and to get ready for Mass, I just want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to all at 206 Tours. Important piece of advice for everybody is before you leave your room, make sure you have your key in your pocket. One of the things that keeps flummoxing me is this pull instead of push to get out of a hallway. Yeah, there's a Porsche in our lobby. Since I have a couple of minutes before the group is going to come downstairs, I've decided to come outside and just show a few of the things right in the proximity of our hotel here. Right across the street from our hotel is a nice looking little church. There's this nifty little shop here where you can buy all sorts of supplies. You need any water, snacks, anything even got a lady selling produce out of the back of her car. Okay, so our meeting time is upon us, and I think I see our land guide over there. Her name is Carolina. All right, we got the group all together here. We're getting ready to head off to the church. Some of you I met just a moment ago. I got one. We're on the bus right really now. Small. We're on our way to St. James Church. Okay, so we've arrived at St. James Church. This is the church where St. Faustina first came when she came to Poland. It's like there are representations, like very different ones, with stained glass windows. So here we have St. Maximilian Calvin, for example. Yeah. Okay, so here's one of those moments where being a priest has its privileges. I'm about to say Mass in the chapel where St. Faustina first came when she came to uh, Warsaw. She was seeking to enter the convent. Of course, I'm not going to be able to vlog any of that because, well, be kind of weird for a priest carrying a camera during Mass. So, till after Mass, ciao. So we just finished our first Mass together. Man, was it special. So here we are in the old part of town getting ready to go have some dinner. It's a lovely evening here. So we just finished having a delicious dinner and now we're heading back to our hotel. 